All right, just pulled in. Um, we're gonna start working on the Chevy Sonic from the last video. Um, we're not doing really anything with the sky yet, but we will, um, pouring down rain. So um, we're gonna be working in the garage most of the time, but we're gonna do a little bit of suspension work, a little bit of frame pooling. Um, let's, uh, let's just get in the garage and get started, get digging on this thing, see how it goes. Um, it looks like a real easy project and uh, hopefully it will be. It is time to start on the Sonic rebuild. That's the most exciting. This car, this is the most exciting car we've done so far. We're actually in the process right here, I just got here, um, in the process of getting the old Buick, uh, that we used as a parts car for the Buick rebuild, all uh, torn apart. These are all. It's going to be completely parted out, down to pretty much all the smallest pieces, um, and then the just you know core frame of the car is going to go be scrapped. So, and we still have the uh, cruise sitting right here. And uh, well, we're going to work on, like I said, the Saturn some other day. Um, but this guy here, man, just got to. Uh, we got some new parts in. There's the new bumper cover. So that's pretty awesome. Um, here's new strut, a arm. Um, well, I don't know where the rest of this stuff is, but, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get this guy straightened out. Um, obviously the A-arm is going to solve that problem pretty much instantly. Um, no blown airbags at all. And, uh, obviously hood, we got to do that. The hood sitting over in the corner. Um, and I'm going to just start off with that. So, uh, that's what it looks like for the Sonic with the hood off. Bet nobody thought they were going to see that today. Actually, if you saw the beginning of the video, you probably thought uh, somebody's going to take the hood off this car. This is uh, actually one of the coolest cars with the hood off. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the things that Sonic is known for. Yeah, all right, um, so what are we doing here? But, like, all right, so my impression here is that based on the way the frame rail is being super straight, that this damage, everything, like, bent up in here is all due to, like, the headlight being, like, smashed up in under here. I actually don't I would agree. Think it shifted like the front end anywhere. It looks like it's all straight. Cause like, this side is perfect. I yeah. mean, this side all lines up perfect. So yeah. I would think this would be pushed out. Seals up. You know what I mean? Everything. I mean, so, this is pushed off, but I think that's more. I took that off. Oh, okay. So I'm and thinking. You took this off too? I loosened this. Yeah. Off. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, all uh, right. But I'm just thinking if we hook up the, the clamp puller thing like here. Yeah. And just kind of pull outward on all this. I think. We'll I dig it. Set up. All right, let's do it. Plate. Super bends on it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if it actually would have affected the drivability of it. <laughs> it's a good idea to replace anyways. Yeah. How much was the new one? Uh, like 90 bucks it was okay. used. All right. Yeah, that, that so, A-arm is screwed. <laughs> yeah, it got hit, man. It got yeah. hit pretty good. The A-arm got it good. So how do we... So we got to pull off the wipers up here to get to the strut. Yes. Now. And so I'm already planning on breaking these. Okay. Because yeah. I already have this experience. On yeah, just a heads up if you know anything about GM cars. At least the Traverses, the Cadias, whatever. If you go to take the wiper assembly off, you're going to break it. Pretty much. Just letting you know. Even if you get a new one, you're going to break that one too. So... You don't rep don't take it apart. Oh, there it goes. Whew! I didn't think it was gonna go. I thought it was gonna start spinning. Yeah, it has the ability to yeah have spin a on there. there. Yeah. So, all right, so we got the cowl off, and then uh, you can see it's got these type of which I didn't realize. I thought they were still gonna be like three bolts in a you know triangle shape for the strut, but uh, just one single bolt because uh, apparently GM really wants you to die. So. One bolt holding the whole car together. All right, so we got the strut out, and uh, one of the sway bar links broke. And I just want to show you something. You ever have, like, your favorite car brand button is anything GM, um, but then sometimes they do things that make it really hard to, like, defend them? Um, this is one of those times, because the reason the link broke was they are just plastic sway bar links. Now, I know that there's, like, not a ton of weight on this car or anything, and they probably did some research to say that this was okay. But anytime my suspension components are held together with plastic, I'm just a little bit, I'm just a little bit nervous about it. So, um, it is what it is, but we got a new one. I wonder if aftermarket ones, like, I wonder if you get a Moog one, if it's still plastic or not. But, uh, huh, it's not? You checked? Uh, yeah, so, all right, well, I probably would have went with aftermarket. All right, so we're still working on this A-arm, and uh, we've been working on it for quite a while here. Um, it took a long time to get the uh, bottom sway bar link off of it because it was broken um, completely off, so there's nothing really to get a hold of. So that took a little while, but we just came out with the stupidest design that GM did. So there's no way to access the bolt that runs through here. You can see the nut on this side. Um, the one that runs through here, you can't access from anywhere other than... A stupid little hole 
down underneath here, um, right there, you can see. And uh, so you gotta use an extension, then you lose all your torque, so it takes, it's really tough to get out. But then, uh, you know, as usually, bolts don't come the whole way out and just come loose, you gotta like pound them out a little bit. So there's no way to get onto the head or anything, so. Um, not a great design, don't love it. Uh, but I guess that's why it's like a like $12,000 car brand new. So we got the old A-arm out. You can see it's got some extra character to it. Um, like I showed you before, if you're ever doing this, you got a bolt that comes through there with a nut that's welded on the end. You don't need to hold it. Here's the new one for comparison. You can see this one has a little bit of a bend to it. Um, that guy just runs straight up through. That one's pretty straightforward. Um, this is, ball joint has a bolt that runs through it. Um, and it was very rusted, so if you have one of these cars, it probably is the same deal. We really had to bang uh, it pretty hard with a hammer to get it out, um, so just a heads up. And then, actually, we had to do both pickle forks right there, um, you know, hammering in there to get, in to get it out because it just was so seized up in there. So um, we're going to spray it with some lube to put the new one in, and uh, that's about it. So we got the whole... Um, control arm, assembly, everything back on. Um, pretty much good to go. Um, pretty uh, pretty excited about it. Um, it took way longer than what we planned. Like, what have we been here, two hours? Probably two hours, something like that. We were hoping to have all the body panels on, but um, it's just not a great design. GM did not do a great design or easily accessible or anything like that on the whole suspension setup there. So hopefully this is the last time we got to tear it apart. The um, tie rod end, inner tie rod end, might be bent. Um, so, otherwise, I'm going with not. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Um, this guy we discovered is pushed back a little bit, but it's not pushed to the side at all. It's just pushed straight back. We did get wheels back on. Lots of clearance. I don't know if you really saw before if I showed it well enough, but uh, this was tight back against here. You couldn't turn the wheel at all. Um, just would only clear if it was going 100% straight. So, um, but it's, it's good clearance now. Um, got the wipers back up, cow back on. Um, and we are going on, moving that car, because we are going on our inaugural drive. There she goes. She's running. Look at that color, though. All right, even though it's a stupid little car, you got to love that color. Mm. How's she going? Look at that. Are we going to be banging some gears? We'll find out. We should bang some gears, dude. I don't know what that means. I actually don't know what that means. Well, that... your granny shifting usually, oh, double not clutching. not double clutching like okay, you I, should. I double clutch. You know, it's exactly a quarter mile up to the top of your driveway. Oh my gosh, you really did. <laughs> <laughs> Just over seventy thousand miles. Let's see though. I like this oh, little digital display. I have a TPMS sensor on for something. Let me just check through that quick. It looks like you got an airbag light too, or is that just seatbelt? Does the seatbelt and airbag come up at the same time? No, it's got an airbag light. Your passenger seat bag or airbag is not registering. No, it's not with your weight. Well, she seems like she runs okay. good. So anyway, I just want to see this. Uh, if I can get got through. this. Yeah. Nice little compartment miles per there. Hour, miles per gallon. You know, I don't mind the interior of this car at all. Does it seem like these are out of another vehicle as vents? Yeah, I thought they were vents missing the things. And they just put them in here because that's what they had. I'm 99% sure that's what happened, but I don't know why you wouldn't just yeah. use them. That's why wouldn't why wouldn't you just use them? Well, she seems to run fine, so I will uh, see you guys back at the house. Right, it's, it's still raining. My hair's all wet. It's just a nasty day here. Um, just made it back from the test drive and uh, rode good. The only issue is there was an airbag light on and a tire pressure light. Not worried so much about that one, but the Airbag light, we're not sh quite sure about it. Seems like the passenger seat isn't registering um, anybody's in it, so I think it's something with that. I'm going to check out and see if it's uh, just an unplugged wire. Uh, right now, we're going to try to pull this frame and well, see what happens. Doing anything? I think so. Do you want it though with the car once? Yeah, probably once isn't going to hurt. All right, hold it. No, it just cracked the metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just cracked right through that metal. All right, C come forward a little bit. Okay, not like that. No, I didn't want. I just wanted you to pull it tight. Cause I don't know if I can grab on. It's really gonna grab on. All right, just go real slow. 
Slow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hold it. All right, now just let the pressure, you know what I mean, just whatever. All right, put a little bit on it. All right, you're just towing the vehicle out. <laughs> yeah, you're just pulling the, pulling the Sonic. Give her another yank like that. Yep. Whew. I'll tell you what, let's do one more, I think. Okay. Maybe not as hard as that last one. Okay. Oh, I see. It is coming, though. Yeah. All right, uh, give, her, give her another tug. All right. Woo! All right, we fricked it up. When you went to go, it dropped down. Well, that, that part, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. No, no, I know. But yeah. I'm just saying, if we're trying to straighten it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I could straighten that up pretty easy, though. Yeah, I know. I just... <laughs> so, I didn't really do anything, but I think that's good enough. This here, I almost feel like I should just do a hammer. I th well, I this, think you should do it with the strap, I, is... but just by hand. <laughs> Listen, just as a general rule, I, for, for, for the people watching, all right, we got this back inside. We got this pretty well straightened up, just a little bit of work to do. We got this guy straightened om up almost perfectly, took the kink out of here, all right. So basically, if you're using a body shop that does not use a hammer and a Chevy Traverse with a toe strap to straighten frames, then you need to find yourself a new body shop. I, I mean, just... Factually, you're looking for one that's reputable. Yeah, rep yeah, reputable. Yeah. Um, so, just general rules for life. So we got the uh, new headlight sitting out here. This is straightened up fairly close. It's not. It's not right yet. We know that, but it's uh, it's close enough that we want to try to start fitting stuff up and um, getting the right uh, the right adjustments with our fine tuning. So this guy is smashed underneath here. So. That needs to be, it needs to come forward, this guy does. Yeah, oh, this one needs to come way up here. Okay. Oh, that, oh, that needs to go, forward. oh yeah, it does. Yeah. And same thing here. And this needs to be lifted. Yep, yeah, let's do a little bit. High screwdrivers are gonna do these the best. Yep, so. That's enough of my decision to not replace the radiator support is supported by you. It is. But it seems like this was very fixable. It was. Well, especially because this is basically made out of a Mountain Dew can. Yeah. Actually, I don't even know. Yeah, no, I've seen better mountain dew Yeah, this is like a Shasta. You ever, so Shasta this is mountain lightning. It's not it's some off-brand of mountain dew. Cats. Booger up that edge. Yeah. This thing's going to look like a hack job. This I don't quite understand. You almost died. Yeah. Just right there. Tell you what, getting pretty have, freaking close. We have assembled stuff that looked a lot worse than that before. <laughs> Dude, like, a lot oh worse. man, do you see that? That's a hole right I there. Actually, and that's a hole right there. I actually think we should there's probably two, put a bolt in There's two holes. Just, I've never actually tried to put a fender on before on one of these cars and the holes be there. Yeah, this is really weird. All right, you know what? This car is going to blow up for sure. Yeah, it doesn't run right. We know that. <laughs> that airbag is going to be a real expensive to fix. <laughs> It's gonna pop right now. All right, let's just put a little, little bolts in there. Test bolt in there. Okay, and then we'll try to fit the headlight up too. Is that a certifit fender? This one, actually, the fender mm -hmm. is um, yeah. Kappa certified. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's it. So let's just put the hood on. Number yeah. one, let's like get out of the laundry room. Sure. And number two, we'll see if it kind of looks right. like that shirt. All right, well, I can't video when I'm putting the hood on, so I'll be right back. Just like that, magic. The hood is on. And uh, just very loosely fit. Got to still like... Is that a nasty dent in the center? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. That should be going back to, like, I wherever am, you bought it from. I'm already planning on calling Oh, my gosh. It it's, like, not a good dent at all. No, I don't know it's... if you can see this on video right there. Hold on there. Let me get the light in it. It's right in the center, right there. I'm gonna have them do work on it. Right there. Yeah. Uh, this side's fairly close. Yeah. My side's fairly close. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right. What in the world did we do to this car? That's that's it, man. Oh my goodness. That's I've crazy. never seen a one like the and the bolts are just loose. Like we're yeah. not even tightened up or anything. Like that was just literally just setting the hood down with the bolts loose. Okay. Like, we could pull this guy in in the center just a tick. Yeah. 
and that's it. And that's it, man. It's done. Whew. Yeah. Like the door. Well, you got a little gap here down at the bottom of the door. <laughs> you see, see that? What's wrong with it? Yeah, Stupid car doesn't work. It's probably better than factory. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. All right, well, with this awesome fitment of the hood, I know I just went on and on about it for a little bit, but uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Um, still got the bumper cover up there, and you know, some of those little tabs and things we got to get perfect, but um, really, and this is falling off right now, that's why it's wider now, but uh, just uh, really, really happy with the fitment, everything, car drives so nice. Um, really couldn't be happier. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, like I said, super happy with this. Uh, there will be another part to this video when we finish it up. It's got to go get paint and everything that uh, yet, but uh, that's coming up real soon. So it's, it was a slam dunk project. So um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.